Welcome to Four Geeks Media. I'm Amanda Konkin. I'll be your specialist for the day. And I'm Genevieve, and I'm your noob. Because we're here at Geeks After Dark, bigger on the inside. We're really excited to be here. My specialty is sci-fi fantasy, one of my favorite all-time shows. Whereas Genevieve, I have never seen a single episode of Doctor Who. So I think we need to fix her knowledge of Doctor Who a little bit. So we're going to go around. We're going to have a great time here. Really immersive experience. They've got all sorts of stuff happening. They have vendors, cosplay, costume contests, trivia, and a little something that we like to call Nerdlesque. Nerdlesque is a burlesque show that is influenced by geek culture and as the theme of this evening, Doctor Who. Um, so amongst all the other things, one of the things that we're interested in is cosplay. Now, Genevieve, I don't want to drop you in <laughs> into the thick of everything, but cosplay is one of my most favorite things, especially with one of my most favorite shows. So I'm going to go get into my cosplay costume, and then we'll have a little bit of fun with everybody here. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Looking good, Amanda. <laughs> Thanks, Genevieve. Can you guess who I am? Not a clue. All right, well, one of our first lessons is the doctor travels with companions, and I'm dressed as Rose Tyler, one of the first companions from when the show was regenerated in 2005. So on the top three things that I should know about Doctor Who, you've just not mentioned number one, what would be two other good examples? All right, well, it's not really a full example, but it's something you should know about the lingo. He's called the doctor, not Doctor Who. There's a lot of common misconceptions that when people talk about the character that plays the doctor, they call him Doctor Who. Don't do that. All right, well, that'll save me a lot of embarrassment tonight. All right, so one of the most important things is that the doctor travels through time and space using a TARDIS. So what's a TARDIS? <laughs> a TARDIS stands for Time and Relative Dimensions in Space. It's a spaceship that his people, the Time Lords, created so that they can travel through the galaxy and through time and space. That's awesome. All right, uh, I got a few more questions for you. All right, well, I'm going to stop you there because I'm probably not the best thing to, uh, person to be answering all these questions for you. There's tons of people here at Geeks After Dark. Some of the doctors even have come today themselves. So I think we should go out and ask some of them questions. How's that sound? So that sounds awesome. Let's go. So I'm really excited. I found my doctor here. Um, my second doctor for Rose Tyler, who I wasn't quite sure about in the beginning. This doctor is particularly versed in Doctor Who, so I think we need to have jean Viev ask a few questions. So I have never seen a single episode of Doctor Who, so you need to tell me the three things I need to know about Doctor Who. Number one, he's a Time Lord from Gallifrey, who's over 900 years old. Number two, he has two hearts. Number three, he travels throughout time and space in his trusty blue box called the TARDIS, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Thank you. What are the three most important things I need to know about Doctor Who? Um, he is a time traveler. You have to know he's a time traveler. Um, he does travel through time and space in a little um, 1960s police box. and It's blue like my dress. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so that's two things. He randomly meets people more or less and he's always trying to help out even though some things don't always might turn out that way he's still trying to do it so right. he's you know he's, he's the good guy he's the hero he's the hero the three most important things I need to know about Doctor Who it's wibbly wobbly okay um, don't blink don't blink I got it and uh, it's all about having fun <laughs> That sounds amazing. So I found another one of my doctors. I'm very excited about it, except this one's a little bit special. This is one of our hosts for the evenings. So who here likes to get really, really, really drunk? Responsibly. Responsibly classy and really Britishly drunk. Talk a little bit about what brings you out to this specific event and how they wrangled you into hosting. Well, this is a fantastic event. I saw my picture on the poster and basically thought, well, why am I there? It doesn't make any sense. But, you know, I came in and they showed me a microphone and, well, I thought, let's do that. How long is he? Han Solo can do the Kessel Run in how many parsecs? <laughs> oh, we should note, when you lose, prepare to be moved. <laughs> your sonic screwdriver. I love it. It's so great. There are so many people here. I love it. It's a little bit crazy. So here at Geeks After Dark, it's not just Doctor Who fans that we've been able to find. Here I've been able to find a link from Twilight Princess. Pretty extensive costume if I do say so myself. But I'm not a video game expert. In fact, I've only just started playing Zelda. However, our geek expert in video games is actually here and he's going to ask 
you a few questions about video gaming. So are you ready for this, Eric? This is going to end terribly. Let's bring it on. It's good. Here we go. So you're linked from the end of Twilight Princess. That no one ever dre bothers to dress up like that. That is very niche -y. How did you make this outfit? Oh, let's see. First, I did my research. Uh, the number one person I actually ended up going to to find my information on how to do this with was uh, somebody named Animated Poison on Cosplay.com. Uh, I took a look at her designs, kind of built off of them, and just applied what I had tried last year. This is actually the second costume I've ever made. Wow, so my link from the end of Twilight Princess is opposed to Fierce Deity. This is a really not, even by among Zelda players, not a recognizable link. Why, why did I why did I do this costume? As opposed to Fierce Deity. Because this one is shiny, oh my goodness. That's a very good answer. It is really shiny. Is I can't see why I did this cosplay. of the costume contest here at Geeks After Dark that we're going to talk to. Hi there, my name is Shannon, and what inspired this costume was uh, the disc set of Daria. My uh, good friend lent it to me. All right, so Daria is a very particular example of a television show. Hopefully people watching this knows that. But um, would you mostly consider it a geeky thing, or is it something for everybody? And what exactly about Daria inspired you to bring it to a geek-themed event? Well, I can only assume that Daria would be for everyone, since it's generally making fun of everyday life. And what about that is not for everyone, I mean seriously. Thanks for watching us here at Geeks After Dark. Now, Jean-Biev, you have had a little bit of time to interview a few Doctor Who fans, see the geeks here, so I think it's time to be quizzed. How's that sound? Sounds great. Alright, so what are the things that you've most learned about the Doctor? Uh, about the Doctor himself, um, I've learned that he has, has some very useful devices like the sonic screwdriver and then um, what else uh, that he has two hearts what is his space machine it's the TARDIS um, yeah and do you remember what the um, TARDIS stands for time and rela related <laughs> time and relative dimension in space there we go uh, there you go very good but surely <laughs> um, I also learned that I should go home and watch blink I think that was the episode that was most recommended to me tonight um, and whichever episode has weeping angels that that is the weeping angel episode it's that blink the weeping yeah. angel episode then uh, super points for that episode I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna watch it tonight thanks for joining us we'll see you next time Within the viciousness of space and the unpredictability of time, I, Connie Lee, has come as a defender of the universe. The universe, with its infinite vastness and massive depths, harbors creatures of all shapes, sizes, and lengths. I, with my consummate energy and sensual mass, will conquer these enemies with absolute stealth. Don't try to understand, or you too may be subject to my steaming attack.